hopefully before today and right now. Uh, my name is Tim. It's great to be here. And uh, can we all just begin by raising our glasses, whatever we've got in front of us, putting our hands together to toast the amazing success of this campaign. To Chloe. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Uh, so, I don't have a speech. <laughs> uh, I haven't had a stump speech this entire campaign, and I think that's probably perfectly indicative of the way that this has been run. Uh, we had no money. We had no money from the beginning. Uh, somewhere along the line, people started giving us money. Uh, that was great. That meant that we could get the word out more and more. Uh, I think that what this result shows more than anything is that there is a tide for change. In Auckland, uh, I only put myself forward three months ago now, six months ago I'd never seen myself in politics, uh, and I stood up because I was disappointed uh, by the options that we had. Uh, I'd been interviewing everybody as a journalist and talking to them about uh, their thoughts for Auckland and their visions and what they thought the problems were, and I felt as though none of them actually really understood the problems because they are all middle class white people uh, who own homes. And the problems that we're facing in Auckland, uh, our housing and our transport and the lack of opportunities and our brain drain, those aren't problems that they know firsthand. Uh, so that, that's why I stood up. Uh, and I want to thank you all for supporting me uh, in this campaign. But I want you to know that this was actually never about me. <laughs> uh, this was a lot more about you. Uh, I'm a very hesitant politician and I've tried to be as honest and open about that from the beginning. And yeah, I don't know where we'll go from here, but I hope that all of you feel proud of yourselves as well for standing up and showing uh, that there is that type for change and that appetite uh, to move forward as a society. So yeah, thanks guys. Woo!